What's up, great? Welcome back to my channel. It's a boy. Yeah, we are here again on another reaction video. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, please do make sure you hit that subscribe button below. Turn on post notifications to get my videos first. Yeah, and to my regular subscribers, you guys are amazing. You guys are great. Thank you so much for supporting me all way you can. Please subscribe if you're new here. All right, today we'll be reacting to the legacy of Prophet Ibrahim A.S. I don't know who's Prophet Ibrahim, but in this video, I think I'll know who he is. All right, join me in watching this video. But before we get down, please make sure you give a like on this video. Give a like on this video. Share this video and drop a comment in the comment section. And use my Instagram handle to drop your recommendation. Though. So, all right. All right, let's get into this video, man. Here we go. When I think of the Hajj, the name of Sayyidina Ibrahim Ali Salatu Wasalam comes to mind. Was he not the Nabi to who Allah ordered? O oh, Ibrahim, make the call, invite people to my house in Mecca al Makarrama. Any part of the story of Ibrahim uh, is absolutely amazing. And there was a messenger, and he is from the Ulil Azmi min al Rusul, from the top five prophets and messengers. When I think of the Holy Kaaba in Mecca al Makarrama, the name of Sayyidina Ibrahim والسلام, comes to mind. Was he not the one that raised the foundations of the house? Was he not the one that built this house with his son, Sayyidina Ismail السلام, But he was called Abu al-Anbiya, the father of the prophets. Such a noble name to be called the father of the Anbiya, of the prophets. That great prophet that when a person came to our prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he addressed him by the title, O oh, best of mankind, our prophet sallallahu in his modesty, he said, no, that is not me. That is Ibrahim alayhi salam. Thousands and thousands of people are desperate and die to read namaz behind the maqami Ibrahim. The name of Ibrahim comes to mind. Was this not the blessed stone upon which Sayyidina Ibrahim would stand and he would act like a lift and he would make the house of Allah? When everybody is going to be stripped of their clothes, everybody is going to come to Allah the day of judgment naked, having no clothes on. That the first person to be clothed on the day of Qiyamah will be Ibrahim alayhi salam. And yes, he is deserving of this because Ibrahim, when he went into the fire, his clothes got burnt for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When I think of the well of Zamzam, the name of Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam comes to mind. How this well has been quenching the thirst of millions and millions of people for thousands and thousands of years. And it will continue to quench the thirst of millions and millions of people right till the day of judgment. He is the only person that the Quran commands our Prophet Muhammad sallam, to look up to for guidance. Our Prophet is told to look up to him as a role model. When I think of the mountain Safa and Marwa and how thousands of people perform Sahih by day and by night between these mountains and inshallah will continue to do so right till the day of judgment. The name of Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam comes to mind. My young friends, when I think of the holy city of Makkah and how this holy city of Makkah once upon a time in a barren desert today has become the capital of the Muslim world. Thousands and thousands from every corner of the globe head towards Mecca, flock towards Mecca every single day of the year, 365 days in a year. And I've been doing this for thousands and thousands of years and will continue to do this for thousands and thousands of years. The name of Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam comes to mind. Allahu Akbar, after Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasalam, the most noble prophet of Allah is Ibrahim alayhi salam. Another name or another title for Ibrahim alayhi salam was that he was Khalil al-Rahman. He was the best friend of Allah. The one who is so close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Khalil Allah, so close, so close. Whenever Allah said anything to Ibrahim alayhi salam, he never had an excuse. He always submitted. 
when I see the shops of Makkah laden with fruit, all types of fruit, the fruits of winter, you will find them in summer. The fruits of summer, you will find them in winter. Fruit from every corner of the globe. And this has been happening, not just today or yesterday, for hundreds and hundreds of years. The name of Sayyidina Ibrahim والسلام, comes to mind. Was he not that Nabi that raised his hands and made dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Oh Allah, give the inhabitants of Makkah thamarat. Give them fruits. Oh Allah, give them the end result of everything. This is why my young friend, when you go to Makkah, not only will you find fruits, thamarat, the end result of everything, you will find in Makkah to Makarama. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had accepted the dua of Ibrahim, Oh Allah, give me and make me a good remembrance on the ton of people after me. The great patriarch of all of the Abrahamic religions, the Prophet Ibrahim, the single most respected human being on the face of this earth. Because every single major religion of earth looks up to the Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam. Look at the Christians, they accept Ibrahim. And they look up to Ibrahim as a prophet. The Jews respect Ibrahim and look up to him as a prophet. And no doubt about us, the Muslims, accept Ibrahim and look up to him. But the greatest venerated human being in the history of this world has been the Prophet Ibrahim. When I see women roaming around in late hours of the night in Makkah al Makarama at one o'clock at night, at two o'clock at night, with hundreds and hundreds of reals in their pockets, never mind rape, not one single human being even raises an eye with an evil intention towards them. The name of Sayyidina Ibrahim والسلام, comes to mind. Was he not that Nabi that made this dua? Oh Allah, make this city a city of peace, a city of Amen. He is such a great man that all the messengers who came after him were from his family. Subhanallah. He is such a great man, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tested him. Not once, not twice, but again and again. And he passed every single test. When I see the disabled, when I see the blind performing the Hajj, when I see the old and weak that can barely walk, traveling thousands of miles to Makkah al Mukarramah for every from every corner of the globe, the name of Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam comes to mind. Was he not the one that made the dua? Oh Allah, fill the hearts of some from amongst men with love towards them. This is why you find my young friends, even though the Hajj is a very long and tiring journey, no matter how many times a haji experiences difficulty he wants to go again and again and again and whenever he gets the opportunity irrespective of the difficulties he makes his way to Makkah al Mukarramah Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he was taken to the heavens and he reached the seventh heaven he saw in that heaven Ibrahim alayhi salam his back was on Baytul Ma'mur Baytul Ma'mur is a place where 70,000 angels come every single day and they do tawaf around there and they never come back again. By Allah, Allah has given this man a special rank and a special honor. The Prophet that was at the highest position, who was at the highest level in the heavens, was Nabiullah Ibrahim. When I think of our beloved Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the name of Ibrahim comes to mind. Was he not the Nabi that made this dua? O oh Allah, send from amongst them a messenger from amongst them. O oh Allah, send Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, yatru alayhim ayatika. Muhammad will recite your verses upon them. Wa yu'allimuhum al-kitaba wal-hikmah. He will teach them the book. He will teach them hikmah. Wa yuzakihim. O Allah, he will purify them. Innaka anta al-azizul hakim. O Allah, you are the Almighty and you are the All-Wise. When I think of ourselves, the name of Ibrahim comes to mind. Was he not the Nabi who was sammakum al-Muslimin? That gave us our name and that gave us our identity. And this is what his sacrifices, which then led to this nation. In your every prayer, then you appreciate. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammadin. Kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim inna ka hamidun majid. Ibrahim alayhi salam is different. First of all, Ibrahim alayhi salam was making hijrah for all of his life. And then in many places, he would go and he would be the only believer. 
When he went to the Egypt, he told his wife, "Me and you are the only believers here." When he was making dawa to his people in Iraq, only him and the Lut were the believers. So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala gave a name that wasn't given to anybody else, and that is Kana Umma. Ibrahim alayhi salam was a Umma. He was a nation by himself. Whoa, guys! This video is is amazing. Like, wow! <laughs> it got it all got my attention. I was like, the story of Prophet uh, Abraham. Yeah, if I'm correct, Prophet Ibrahim is Abraham. That's if I'm correct. Is because the story what we told they were all similar, and he was the first one that made the first Mecca. And he has done. He did lots of stuffs. Like, whoa! Even even this video said uh, that it was recorded in the Quran. Uh, Prophet Muhammad looks up to him for guidance. Wow! But I never knew. As in the uh, lots of stuff he has done. If I if I haven't come across this video, I really appreciate you that recommended this video for me. But on a more serious note, Prophet Ibra Ibrahim did lots of stuff. At first, I never knew who they were talking about based on the name Prophet Ibrahim. I was even surprised, like, I haven't heard this name before. All I've been hearing was Prophet Muhammad and he's um, one of his followers. That was what I've been hearing. But this is the very first time I'm hearing of Prophet Ibrahim and he really lived a legacy. Wow. Till next 200, 1000 years, he's always remembered his, because of what he did. Father of all nations. Wow, this video is amazing, guys. I just, if you noticed, my attention was just gazed on this video. And he was uh, named, if I'm correct, Kali Lula. Kali Lula. And it's even part one, that means I'm going for the part two. I'm going to search for the part two. Legacy of Prophet Ibrahim. Guys, thank you for recommending this video for me. Alright, that's it on this video. I hope you enjoyed my um, opinion, my comments. If you have any reaction to add, please do make sure to use the comment section below to drop your comments yeah all right if you're new here please do make sure to subscribe i know you like what i say i know you like my videos so just just do one thing for me subscribe subscribe turn on notifications to get my videos first and to my returning subscribers you guys are great thank you for keeping me going you guys are amazing you guys are keeping me going thank you all. yeah all right that's in this video and um oh, one more thing one more thing give a like on this video give a like Share this video, share this video, share this video, drop a comment in the comment section. Use my Instagram handle to drop your recommendation. Thank you for recommending this um video, my subscriber. I'm gonna look for the part two and I'm gonna react to it soon. Yeah, yeah. Alright, that's it on this video. See you guys in my next video. Peace.